What's up everybody? It's Logic Bomb 82 here with the Minecraft Union. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a dedicated Staxel server. It's a little bit different process than some of the other ones we've done, so pay close attention. You're going to have to have Steam installed itself and you're going to have to be logged into the client <coughs> that owns the game. You're going to want to install it on your server and execute it. So you want to run it so it installs all the uh the prerequisites as it launches and then you can just exit real quick so just exit out of your steam that's what you want to do now you need to find the folder where your steam installs go the default is going to be program files 86 steam oops steam apps common and these should be all your games you have installed find Staxel. And once you get there, you want to go into the bin. You're going to see lots of files, but what the one you want is down towards the bottom, and it is called. Find it here. I missed it. There you go. Staxel.serverwizard.exe. So all you need to do is run that. It's going to pop you up a little window here, and this is all your settings that you can change right now. So to make it a public server, you want to put a check there. And then you want to put the server name in here. Whoops. Then the port by default is 38465. So make sure that's opened on your firewalls and your router and it's forwarding. And then you can also add a password to the server right here. Leave a check mark here for the uh, port forwarding and it should make it easier for you. And then you can also test your port down here at the bottom, which is a really nice feature. I wish more. Uh, consoles offered so test successful so I'm open it shows your external IP right there you are now good to go all you have to do is hit the start button right here and it's gonna load the game for you again make sure steam is not currently running when you're doing this and also when you shut down the server and you go to restart it this box is not going to be populated make sure you put the exact same server name back in there and it will load your your world that you had before if you change the server name to something else or mistype it then it's going to create a whole new world with that name so once this is loaded it will say server in game and time pause that means your server is up and running now when you do want to shut it down you make sure you have the window highlighted and then you hit control C and you'll see it's closing that's the safe way to close your server now all right, I think that's it. Uh, quick and easy way to host a Staxel server. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them, and I will try to help you out the best I can. Please hit the subscribe button. It's going to help me grow my channel and make more videos. Have a great day, everybody.